All right, joining me now from Sweden is Greg Simons. He's an associate professor at Uppsala University's Institute for Russian and Eurasian Studies. Uh, good to have you on the program, sir. Now, normally, uh, the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, would enjoy quite a high approval rating. This year, uh, it doesn't seem so. What, what are some of the reasons behind this, you think? Well, contextually speaking, he still enjoys a lot greater support than his uh, counterparts in the UK, uh, etc. But there are the main reasons being uh, social and economic issues. I mean, th this is what he's been bringing up uh, in his speech today, uh, where you've got growing uh, discontent uh, amongst the population uh, owing to more difficult economic circumstances. Um, you say social and economic issues. Um, I'm actually quoting from his speech. He said that we need a high rate of economic growth. This is the only way that we can beat poverty. Uh, he's also promised Russians a better uh, standard of living, better living conditions within this year. Is this message going to be enough for many average Russians who are below the poverty line? Well, the, the point is that this is the first step. Of course, now he, he's made the promise, uh, which, which people might be receptive to, but they'll be expecting some tangible results from this. So <clears throat> what has to deliver uh, tangibly on those words. And if he does, I mean, comparing to Yeltsin's time, of course, economic conditions are much better. Uh, but still, if you're living in poverty and uh, difficult circumstances, that's not much comfort uh, in the current times. All right, now I'm looking at some of the other highlights from the Russian leader's address. And once again, uh, defense and military capabilities are up there. He says that he doesn't want any confrontation, but he's followed that up with lines like, uh, let them count the speed and range of our missiles, and we will respond to any deployment of intermediate uh, range nuclear weapons. Um, how does this play in with the rising tensions with um, the country across the pond, the United States? Well, I mean, both sides are, are playing this game, a, a kind of uh, symmetric one-upmanship. It's a very dangerous game to play, especially when uh, the level of uh, confidence and trust on the other side, not to mention a, a decrease in the ability uh, of talking to each other uh, in a civil manner. Uh, it makes it the risk uh, much greater. All right, Professor Greg Simons, thank you for that analysis.